Hello, and welcome to the Honeywell Max Pro Cloud how-to video series. In this video, we're going to cover how to add a new customer account to Max Pro Cloud. The customer account represents the overall Max Pro Cloud account for a specific customer. All the physical sites for that customer will be added under their customer account, and each customer can have one or multiple sites associated to them. A site represents a physical location such as an office or building in which a system is installed, while the customer account represents the overall customer or company who owns those facilities. To create a new customer, first go to MyMaxProCloud.com and log in to your MaxProCloud account. Once logged in from the dashboard, select the menu icon on the upper left corner of the page and then select customers. Once this page loads, it will show a list of all existing customers down the left side. If there are none, then this will be empty. To add a new customer, click the add a customer button in the upper right corner of the page. A window will open to add a new customer. Fill out all the information on this window. The customer name typically should be the name of the company that is the customer. The first site on the customer account will also be created here, so enter a name for this first site. Fill out the rest of the information entering the customer's email address, phone number, and address information, then press the Add Customer button at the bottom. Once this completes, the site overview page for the new site will be displayed. Go back to the account overview by selecting the customer in the upper left, above the site name. This is the customer overview page. The overview tab on the left displays the customer details for the customer, the plan information, and the download status of any recent configuration changes. The sites tab shows a list of all the sites on this customer account, and this is where you may select a site to access, add new sites, and add labels to sites. The Site Operators tab allows for the creation of users who may access the account and sites and perform various operations. If there are no controllers added to a site, then only these three tabs will be displayed. Additional tabs, such as Schedules and Holidays, Permission Groups, Unassigned Cards, and People, will only display once a controller that supports these features have been added to at least one site. These topics will all be covered in more depth in other videos. This concludes the steps to create a new customer in MaxPro Cloud. Remember that the MaxPro Cloud Web Help Configuration Guide provides a wealth of information and additional step by step instructions. It can easily be accessed from any page in MaxPro Cloud by selecting the question mark icon in the upper right corner of the screen and selecting Help. The guide will launch in a separate window from which you may browse or search topics. Additional resources may also be found at HoneywellDiscoverTraining.com. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.